Hi, my name is Olivia Inglehart. I'm junior editor of the yearbook this year, and everyone should buy a yearbook because the entire yearbook staff has been putting in a lot of effort to make sure that this year's yearbook is better than ever. Tanya and I stay after until like 9 p.m. on some Fridays to make sure that names are spelled right, pictures are up to date, and to make sure that what you're buying is the best it can be. So make sure that you purchase your yearbook in the school store. Hi, my name is Tawny Cooper, and I'm the senior editor of the yearbook this year. And last year, you guys probably know that we had yearbook 3D, but it didn't work. So this year, we started a new app, and it's called Erasma. So you'll see an icon on the caption next to the picture, so you know to scan that picture. And then you'll see a video of the basketball game or cheerleaders. So instead of just seeing a picture of a snapshot of what happened over the year, you'll see an actual video taking place. So make sure you download Erasma and buy a yearbook. On Tuesday, December 9th, the boys basketball team played a tough game against Ray Peck. It was a close game, but sadly it didn't end in our favor. We interviewed fellow classmates on how they thought the game went. I'm pretty upset about the way the refs handled it, to be honest with you. Uh, I thought that we gave them too many free throws and it was ridiculous because the way the fouls were being called wasn't called both ways. It's ridiculous. Well, I think it could have gone better if, like, we were kind of rude to them, but they weren't so rude to us. So, like, if we were nicer, I think it could have gone better. I don't think the rest played a fair game. And went pretty sucky, and I'm salty right now. With Megan Kelsey, I'm Bailey Daniels with Cutlass TV News. I am Miss Forrest. I teach geometry and algebra two fundamentals here at Belton High School. Um, I graduated from the University of Arkansas, and outside of school, I like to read, and I run cross country here with the cross country team. Um, being a new teacher is a lot of work. I had no idea um, how much time it took outside of school to plan lessons and to grade papers and to contact with parents and students and everything. Uh, Ms. Forrest is a really nice teacher. She does a good job at helping everybody out and making sure they do their work, keeping everybody on task. Miss Forrest, she, she has a great personality and when like it's time just to get down to work, I mean she gets to work, but when like we just have like free time, she's just hilarious. She cracks me up. Um Belton High School's been really great though. I like all the kids and the staff here. It's been a great place to start working. Oh, that was Since they don't equal BE. Um, go Pirates, and if you're interested in coming out for the Belton track team this spring, we are doing off-season conditioning. If you want to come run with us, that'd be great. I'm Lauren Blossom. I'm Jackie Boss. I probably look like my twin sister. Probably... Name's Corey. Apparently, I look like Rob Deere. What's good? I'm Tyrell White, and I look like Will Smith. I'm Caleb Kiesler and I look like Justin Bieber. I'm Johnny Biondo and I look like Liam Hemsworth. I'm Zach Willis and I look like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So I'm Jaylee Steinman and I've heard that I look like Hope Solo. I'm Charles Carter and apparently I look like Manti Teo. <laughs> I'm in women's choir and on Tuesday we're having a choir concert and it's a holiday concert. Everyone should come because it's going to be very joyful and happy and you know, Christmas songs are like the bomb. <laughs> and one of the songs is like Peace Peace, it's the one where it goes like silent night and then at the end everyone can join in and sing and it's just going to be a fun time. I'm in concert choir in Bella Voce. It is a Christmas concert that all the choirs sing at, and it's kind of like a Christmas pops, and we've been working on our songs since October, and um, 
yeah, some of the songs are like familiar and some of the songs aren't. And... Um, we should come and support us because we've been working on it for a couple months now and we work really hard and it's really cool and fun and yeah. <laughs> I'm in concert choir and Belton singers. Uh, the concert is our annual Christmas concert. Um, all of our various choirs will be performing and um, everyone should come see it because we have worked hard on it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with. I like obsession. You're an obsession. I'm obsessed. Obsession. I obsession. I'm obsession. I have an obsession. I have like a weird obsession over Demi Lovato. It's like I have posters up everywhere. I have CDs. I have all kinds of stuff that just involves Demi Lovato. She's like my life. My obsession is Doritos. Um, they are just so cheesy and it's just so amazing. It's like a little chunk of heaven in one little triangle thing. When I'm not pregnant, I'm obsessed with working out because it makes me feel really good and I like um, feeling strong and being in shape. Okay, well my obsession is food, obviously. I have even more in my classroom, especially first hour because I just like feast for breakfast and then around a lap, I really get it. I had more food. <laughs> <laughs> But I still like weigh like 105, so I mean. <laughs> I definitely have a shoe obsession. Uh, I have probably over uh, over 100 pairs of shoes. Uh, I recently moved and I filled up three big boxes full of shoes and all my buddies just looked at me and shook their heads. Uh, pretty much every payday I go buy a pair of shoes. I know it's it's a weird obsession, but I love shoes. Um, I'm obsessed with my hair and shoes because I love shoes. I love all the different things about it and I love how you can do your hair all different ways. With uh, football. Reason why? Because I've been playing it for a long time, and I made the best friends of my life. So, I like turtles because one time in like seventh or eighth grade, Mr. Freeman showed us a video of that kid who said I like turtles, and it kind of just stuck. And now I really like turtles, and I have a bunch of turtle stuff, like turtle pillows and turtle necklaces, and uh, I have like a turtle statue and a giant like stuffed turtle. And I'm eventually going to get like a turtle tattoo, so yeah, that's, you know, turtles. Uh, my random obsession is Hispanic men. I have an obsession of like picking the dead skin off my fingers because it it's irritating and it's gross and it looks ugly and I just pick it and then it looks ugly.